Have you seen big companies using this design in their keynote presentation or on their website? Have you ever wondered why they look so good, professional and informative at the same time? Well, don't worry. In this video, we will take a closer look into what these grids are, how they work, why they're essential for modern web design and how you can implement them in your websites as well. This design trend is called bento grids and it takes inspiration from the classic Japanese bento box which you might be familiar with if you are an anime fan. In this layout, Larger boxes are used to highlight key features of the product while smaller ones are used for less relevant features. Let's understand this with an example. In Apple Keynote for iPhone 15, they've used grids of different sizes. Perfect for highlighting key features like this ultraviolet camera or the 48 megapixels section here. Next, take a look at this side from Basis Theory. The layout is quite uniform and symmetrical and also it mimics the traditional bento box with equal size compartments. They've got their features highlighted here with a cool animation playing right below, which is basically used to hook viewers. Okay, now I've got something even better to show you. Do you see this diagram page? This layout might look similar to what Apple has, but here's where the magic happens. When I hover my cursor over it, the content changes. Cool, right? This is perfect if you want to show what your tool or service does without even redirecting them to a new page. Now, one last thing. Let's look at this website. This is a portfolio website of a web designer. You can see the grids look uniform, have a lot of text, and all of this is intentional actually. Diego wants to highlight his story and experience, so he incorporates all the elements right here. This grid showcases his story, and this grid is layered with testimonials from clients he's worked with. Now, all of this may look good, but make sure you don't overuse it, because sometimes bento grids can confuse your viewers. These grids do not have standard hierarchy, so it sometimes becomes difficult for viewers to decide which part to look at first. So, make sure the sizes of each boxes are well structured and not everything is highlighted. Now, let's see how we can create our bento grids, but before that, let's understand the content hierarchy of bento grids. This basically means that the important things come first and the secondary things come later or are not highlighted that much. First, you need to sketch a wireframe of your design like this. Then you can decide how your grid should look. Basically, highlight the most important information by adding headings, icons, or even changing the overall size of the grid. And then you can create separate smaller grid boxes. Once the layout of the grid is ready, we'll create the bento grid on our WordPress site in just few steps. You can use the default WordPress website builder, which is Gutenberg, but I'll skip it as it doesn't have a lot of customization options and you won't be able to change the border radius for the video or the picture widget. Instead, I'll be using Elementor to design the bento grid and to do that, just uh, go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over plugins and new plugins and here search for Elementor. Click install and activate it. Now on the left, hover over pages and new page and on the top choose edit with Elementor. Before I move on to the next part, this is not an ad. Since the video is about website, so I'm guessing you are running a website too. And if you're using WordPress, then you should definitely try this free speed plugin called Airlift. If you put your website URL here, it will boost your website speed up to 90%. Cool, right? So try it here and let me know if you like it. Okay, to add a container, just click on this plus icon here, select Flexbox, and then choose a container layout. I'll go ahead and use this and click on the container here. Then go to the left sidebar and drag and drop a video widget like this. I'll just change this link to a video from my channel. Come back and paste it here. Then go to the advanced tab, scroll down and click on border. Let's change this border radius to 20. Let's quickly add a Google map widget like this. And if you want to change your location, just go to the left and change it from here. Now go to advanced, select border and set the radius to 20. Now select this container here, go to the style tab, click on background and then select this classic option. Click on the choose image button here and select an image like this. I'll also change the image resolution to large change the position to center, from here make it no repeat and display size to cover. Now click on border and change the radius to 20 to round off the corners. All right, let's add some text over the image. Click on plus here 
and drag a text widget here. I'll edit it and add a list of benefits. Change the text size to H3 and a link to my about us page here. If you want to change color, alignment or fonts, just go to style. From here, I can set the alignment to left, change my font to this and change the color like this. I'll just make a few more edits in the advanced section. And yeah, this looks good. I'll click on the container here and create a simple product auto scroll list for my products. So just go to the style tab here, click on background, select slideshow and select all the images you want to add like this. Now change this transition to slide left and you can change the animation speed from here. Go to the border and change the radius to 20. Cool. Let's add a button now so that the viewer can click on it and get to the store. I'll just drag this button widget to the auto scroll list we just made and add it here like this. We can add the link to the store here and change the text to shop now. Let's go to style, set the alignment to center, click on hover and set a pop-up animation from this drop-down menu. I'll also change the hover color to blue and the normal color to a darker gray. Okay, let's change the border radius like this. Go to advanced and quickly change the margin like this. Awesome, our bento grid is ready. Let's see if our grid is responsive. So I'll just click here. I'll select tablet. And as you can see that this looks good. If something is misaligned on your layout, then quickly fix it from here. Once that's done, click on publish button to try it out. Let's click on preview here. Check out our bento grid. And yeah, it works perfectly. We can also add more features and make the bento more interactive. So I'll go to plugins repository, search for plus add-ons for Elementor. Here it is. Just install and activate it. I'll go back to the page I was building before and add a new container here like this. Now I can add all these new widgets and format them to the bento style. So just play around with these widgets and build your bento grid now.